Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. Time for another tactical mission, one that is near and dear to my heart because it is an alien facility, an alien base. I always loved alien base missions, but I am concerned that that one is a tough nut to crack. We got the best equipment that we do uh, that we could muster. And we got the best of the best in order to go in. Typical two shield, uh, two rifleman, one grenadier, two heavy, two sniper setup. Because it is working incredibly well. And whenever I ask myself, hmm, would I change anything? Then the only thing that I really would uh, change is whether uh, we're selecting more heavy weapons. But then again, the lighter assaults are just having so much mobility. And from time to time, that's helpful as well. So I think a well-balanced team actually can prevail quite a bit all right let's move into the mission okay so alien facility is being used as a base for extraterrestrial operations on earth eliminate all hostiles we got three different directions oh boy So, let's start. Oh, it's a double door, I see. Okay. Move up. And we're carefully moving up here. This looks like an old school dungeon. Okay, well, well, well. Before we're doing anything. Let's check the third entrance. Okay, well, Zoe begins to spot out in this direction. Nick-nack the party snack pistol. I don't want to start too many different rooms. That's the whole idea. Be careful. And don't move in too far. Uh, too, f too far. Um. Tony looks in this in that direction. Dilly moves. Looks in this in that direction. And I think we're overall okay. Let's hope the doors stay open and are not one of these open, close, open, close, open, close doors. I hate those. Okay, listen, 
This here is good enough to be not a priority for now. Okay. Ooh. Flashbang! Haha, <laughs> you're suppressed. And as an oppressor, I command you to be stunned. Pistol shot. Misses. Knick knack hits. Okay, that was a miss. Unfortunate. Moving in. We're switching right over here. The site is being left abandoned for now. Tony moves in as a sniper. And Delhi moves up, hunkers down just in case something comes around the corner. He has a sniper shot ready. suppression more enemies are coming up but we suppress them that is a good start fortunately the guy regenerates moves up takes a shot good little stun I like it Salvo. And there we go. Unconsciousness. Sweet, sweet unconsciousness. Opening up the walls. I like that. Moving a bit closer. And we're going to take a nice little sniper shot. Plus another salvo if needed. Double checking that no one is in here. Okay. before then beginning to move to here, I suppose. Widowmaker. Down. We are moving over here, bunker down as well. And Dilly moves over here, pistol bunker down. 
good we have plenty of movement there we can move to here for now i think we just need to hold that side don't want to open too many flanks I'm sure if we killed someone, but it sure sounded like a hit. Hmm. So, I don't know. I would want to open and double check. Yeah, that is what I thought. Moving up with our shield. And we're just hunkering down, just in case something comes out, we can hold it back. Okay, okay, so. <clears throat> Let's make sure that we can open all of these doors in due time. <clears throat> so. Got a sniper, we moved in, that's fine. No one is covering the back though, but I have not seen any movement here. And Dilly does have full overwatch, so that's perfect as well. Let's go. I'm just double checking for these doors, because they would open if someone is taking them. There you go. Someone is coming from the back. Someone is trying to be all extra smart and come in from behind. Good. Before we're continuing, let's open. This thing is a problem. Okay, we still have the issue many different ways up and take that out all right there is another door here we got to be careful. I can't just randomly go everywhere. Good. 
that this might be the end over here. Good, moving in. Opening the door and moving in further. And we should be good. Really helps back here. End of turn. Good. I assume that these two will open. There you go. Both of them opened. So we know an enemy is in here. Let's open this door. Yeah, surprise, surprise, motherfucker. Eat this, and whilst you're at it, let me take the pistol out and teach you a lesson. That's good. And that's good as well. Okay, opening a door. Uh oh, oh, oh. Good, well. We can start to move up. More enemies. Try to stun them. Moderately successful. And there we go. Potentially unconscious, yep. Still have a problem here. All right, the guy luckily did not have an overboard shot prepared. in is the question potentially not but we do have overwatch and should be fine moving to help the others And Dilly switches side and helps the others over here. Can't really reach them, but still. hit ourselves for 70 because we were in the line of fire. That's some severe damage right there. The 
Natalia is completely berserk and will not act. Wonderful. Moving up here. Triple hit. And a kill. All right, one shot, two shots, down. Fantastic. And you look like someone who has just lost their ways. Sniper gone, staff in hand, take this, and this, go unconscious. No one sneaks up on the G. Good, we're moving in as with our sniper. Pistol in hand, we're good. Moving in with Jim, good as well. Over here, we killed uh, them. It's difficult in the base to get a clear front to back fight, unfortunately. There are still enemies potentially from here. Just getting rid of more doors. Nick Nick will open that area next. We are benefiting from clear line of sights. The aliens are very much benefiting from the opposite. I think Deli G will just become the angel of sweet, sweet dreams. From now on. Still an opening. Don't like it. It's overall just way too many pathways. We can quite literally be ambushed from any direction and that is annoying
Big fat hit. Taking three points of damage back. I don't like it. <coughs> Get him down. And next turn we need to heal. Like I mentioned, they can come from every single angle. <coughs> and it's very difficult to just make sure that all of them are covered. It seems to be their main uh, base or their main room. I can see elevators here. At least three aliens in here. We can shift more troops to there. Okay, so this one here is okay, very good. Moving further up. He takes a pistol. And we're overwatching. Tony moves up. And Jim moves up. We need to get into that room soon. turn good we're going to break open from this side Reload. I think a little bit of reloading could not hurt. At the same time, though, we are in a good position. Might as well start to move in. Flashbang. I suppressed the three of us. That is ridiculous. Okay. Moving up. Get one down, anchor down, shoot the next one. Till he moves up. Even with his pistol, he is very much on point.
depression. Got him. One shot. Another shot. And he's out of cover. Which then brings us to... 10 shots. None of which hit, by the way. Billy G has been mesmerized. Okay. Sniper shot. Moving in. Stun. More stun, and this guy is just not going down. Sorry, triple. And that was it. Lots of additional shots, but none of them seem to hit. Finally. Psionic officer. Okay, the G moves in, has his stun baton ready, just in case. Reload. Daddy moves here. Tony moves up. Okay, and heavy weapons are moving in as well. Good, next turn we are going upstairs. We got one flashbang, that must be enough. Two of them suppressed. We have another flashbang. Yes, we do. Epi moves in. Takes the flashbang.
Good, and now it's a matter of cleaning up, right? Right. Let's start with a nice big fat salvo. Many, many, many misses, unfortunately. Hit. Hit. And almost a hit. More stun, okay. One hit out of ten shots. Unbelievable. Shattered Realm. the G. Moves up and we're looking for that and that. And a little bit further away. out of time units okay good Dilly G needs healing and we need another flashbang anyone there we go Okay, so can we stun this guy? He has a very stunnable face. Spotted. Can we shoot him from here? No, we can't. No. One alien, and we need to go through the entire base, likely. But we gotta take this one serious, because I do have the feeling if we're getting bitten, losing someone to a zombie would be an absolute nightmare. OK, 
Okay, end of turn. Not sure if we revealed them completely. Oops, that was the wrong one. I wanted to blast it. <clears throat> My bad. <clears throat> we want to take the right amount of soldiers with us. Not too little, not too many. <clears throat> I think six are okay. Just need to double check that we will be able to see it and not shoot ourselves, of course. That was a difficult one, but uh, the team held up very, very well, and we successfully gotten our first alien base. Well done, everyone. Okay, after screen, after mission screen, we got... Yeah, you can't grow over a hundred. That's unfortunately not possible. But you can get close to a hundred. Nanofabrication. I don't know what that uh, will do, but we can check it out the next time <clears throat> that we have. Oh, tissue regeneration. That sounds interesting. Maybe we can reduce the chance of all of our soldiers dying. That would be cool. Good. Research not yet there, but we get better training. Okay, fair enough. Analysis of alien surgical devices and regenerative stem cell samples might allow us to improve our own medical equipment. Cool. Nanofabrics. Advanced techniques may finally allow us to synthesize alien resources such as alloys. Oh, okay. Look, we wanted to do the interrogations first, so let's stick with that. Mainly because uh, that will allow us faster training and is good. Launch interceptors. This thing is very small, so I assume it's just a scout. Launch aircraft and let's take these two. Finally, okay. Very good. So that's an interceptor. <clears throat> Whatever an interceptor is doing. 
well duh it's intercepting but you know what i mean oh wow what no way that is un effing leaveable okay we most certainly need to get these things down and we need new aircraft Can we get this guy down, please? <clears throat> wow, a very small UFO is already strong enough to keep us fully occupied. Unbelievable. Good, listen, we could go with the alien officer interrogation. Tissue regeneration is great. Nanofabric are good. Let's just do the nanofabrics. It sounds like it really allows us to synthesize alien resources. That could be a massive breakthrough. Yeah, I can't fly there. Unfortunately, currently, without new interceptors, we won't be able to retain the superiority in the skies. We're having a lot of new options available, but un unfortunately for us, all of them come with a hefty, hefty price tag, which we can't afford. We're soon going to have enough to at least um, get a couple of upgrades. So, we can now create alien alloy centralinium. Cool. Let's go with the explosives. And what does it cost to create these resources? Oh, wow. 10 grand, 20 grand. Okay. Gauss battery upgrade. Let's start that. I thought it was 250, but starting it now is good. Uses our production time wisely. And our bases will be substantially more secured afterwards. Few more days and then we finally got our upgraded uh, our next influx of money and with that we can get all of uh, the all of the upgrades that we need look at that we now got solid 800 defense strings here 520 here and soon 520 there as well, which at least means from a defense perspective, we should be fine. We need better weapons though, and better aircrafts. A simple interceptor got all of us down. Anyways, we got 
Alenium grenades, Alenium uh, rockets for vehicles, and Alenium warheads. Okay, well, that seems good. Tissue regeneration is next, which I definitely wanted. So, wait, wait, wait. What do we have here? Alenium warheads. Uh, air to air missile is upgraded, and Gauss blaster would be the other one. Okay. Alenium grenades upgrades our grenades and demolition charges into alenium grenades and alenium charges. More damage. Okay, that's definitely important. Uh, costs us another 250. Two million. Okay, well, look, here is how this is going to go down. Wanted a bit of new aircrafts, right? Right. So. Angel 3 relocates to America. Angel 4 relocates to America. Good. Now, with that out of the way, what are we going to do first? I think first we're creating phantom interceptors. Oh, we need to, for Gauss Blasters, we need to first have accelerated cannons. Okay, so Gauss Blasters really cost us 750 grand. That's expensive. In which case, let's first of all get a couple of Phantom Interceptors. And one Dragonfly Dropship. Very nice. One additional radar here. So that we do have enough uh, space. Good, lots of engineering that is going to come through here. But for now, we're just going to get upgraded air units. I find it surprising just how bad the normal uh, how bad the normal interceptors are starting to be okay can't even get this guy down That UFO just went straight to our base. 280 health. And it got very much decimated. Okay, we have not gotten a single UFO down. This is incredibly ridiculous. And they are spreading fear all over the place.
All right, let's try launching interceptors yet again. Angel one and two, there we go. Yeah, we need faster aircrafts. What are we fighting against, by the way? Because I think we only have 19 healths. The bomber. Not sure if we can even get that one down. Looks like a large UFO. Yeah, I think this is one of uh, those times where we are just shooting our shot and then we are retreating. Good. Do, do we have more missiles? I mean, it's a stupid tactic, but what am I, what am I supposed to do? Right, launch aircrafts. Here we can finally launch interceptors. Took a while. I think we can beat an abductor. Not sure, but I think so. Okay, well, maybe not. Keep on going. It's unfortunate that you never see the health of uh, the enemy. Okay, abductors are just too strong. See, if two of our interceptors can't even get a UFO down, then something is wrong. I need to upgrade the weapon. The weapons, all of them. Harder, stronger, bigger interceptors. Tissue regeneration. Advanced medkit, automated new module, and surgical center. Okay. Let's interrogate the officer. What does the surgical center do? Is it something that we're engineering? Base upgrades, surgical center. Improved healing rate and survival chance of casualties. Okay. Okay. Upgrade medkits to advanced medkits, which require fewer time units. That's good. And what's this here? Automated module. 
uh, automated module automatically dispenses healing nanites, causing them to regenerate 25 hit points per turn and curing any bleed. What? That seems OP. That seems very OP. Yeah, we still need the funds. I need air superiority, so all of that is nice little gimmicks. Okay, we got our first Phantom Interceptor. Apparently these things have two solid hard points for double lasers. Okay, well, we're going to see how well that turns out. At least they have double uh, the fighting power. Good. We got in... We researched something that just didn't do anything. Well, fantastic. Advanced stun weapons is the next to go. And we just got our better and more advanced dropship. Here is the Dragonflight, ladies and gentlemen. 12 um, person can sit in it. Are you sure you want to decommission Skyhawk 1? I am very sure about that, thank you. And we need another aircraft. Ah, finally, we got a mission. Terror site. We're going to do that the next time. It took a while to find a mission. It was almost like the game didn't want us uh, to have any missions, but no, we're definitely going to select a couple of soldiers but I want to do that in peace so we're going to do that calmly and slowly 12 uh, 12 soldiers are a lot to select from and one final glimpse on our roster shows us the guys that we have uh, recruited lately Ursaboop, uh, Wasp, King Jobe, John Calambario and uh, Krabby have already progressed. You can see Krabby had like incredibly bad uh, strengths, for instance, already got it up quite a bit. So the training helps. Doesn't make perfect, but it helps. Good. Anyways, that's the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day and see you in today's. Bye bye.